The second part of the process is on page two of the, of the tournament settings, and it's called the game-specific settings. And each, not all games, but many games have specific options. In the case of Caveman, I will leave it at the default, which uh, has an increased initial bet every five rounds, and it, the initial bet at five stones, and the duration unlimited. I think I'll change the duration to 10 rounds rather than unlimited for the uh, were the cross down suite there are two dictionaries I always leave it at international because we have players who are playing from Europe and Australia and New Zealand as well as the United States and Canada uh, for the hanging diceman settings I leave it at the default 11 guesses and I leave it at multi-word phrases because that is the most commonly used setting for uh, the various um, hangman suites. As you see, I have that down here as well. I am, however, changing the settings for uh, kickback hangman and kickback thematic to four points because that plays quicker. Um, and on Ludo, I changed the dice from six to ten-sided because that also makes the game move faster. Everybody has their own preferences, and those are mine. You are now at the Verify Tournament settings, and this is a list of a what I put into the text for the description, as well as the name of the tournament and then every game that I selected. If I see that I didn't put in a game I wanted, let's say dominoes, I can then use the browser back button, go back, scroll back up to the dominoes section. It's for the most part in alphabetical order. Click dominoes, go all the way down to the bottom. All of those settings stayed in place including the date, create new tournament again, and I'm back to the settings page, and the settings that I made disappeared in that action. So I am redoing those quick settings, and again verifying, and now everything that I want is on my sheet, and at this point, I will click Accept, and that will end part two of this tutorial. Finding your tournament will be part three.